Hey, what's up, guys? We're back to my channel, but it's over, call me. And yeah, so let's talk about the news. So, Microsoft, they fucked up. <laughs> uh, they, they they fucked up real hard from this shit. Um, so what they did is they raised the price for Xbox Live. So sixty dollars will get you six months of Xbox Live. And now you're wondering, ah, oh, shit, what's a year then? It's gonna be a hundred and twenty dollars. I have no idea how Microsoft can look at that price point for a year of Xbox Live and think, yeah, that's that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> like, yeah, I think I think people are willing to buy hundred twenty dollars for a year of Xbox Live. Yeah, I mean, you know, Sony they're they're doing it with you know fifty nine dollars for a year of Plus, but I think we can get away with it. <laughs> that's that's what they're thinking. Like, oh yeah, I think we can get away with this. Like they they were tipping their toes on it because. Right now, uh, they, they, they took that back. They're not doing that no more. Now, the reason why they did this is to get people to stop paying for Xbox Live and to start paying for Game Pass Ultimate. So, what Game Pass Ultimate is, is Game Pass, but with Live and also, uh, what was it called? EA Access. But, Game Pass Ultimate is $14.99. So, if you are paying that for a year, I, I calculated this, you will be paying for $179.88. That's for a year. I have no idea how they think, oh yeah, if we made live a year as expensive as Game Pass Ultimate a year, then people will start paying for Game Pass Ultimate. But there's people that don't want Game Pass Ultimate. Like, there's people out there that just buy whatever the next Call of Duty is and whatever the next sports games is. And the other one could be whatever. <laughs> like, there's people out there that just buy those games and that's it. And then after that, they get live. That's all they need. And also, people, you know, people can't afford that type of shit. So they get the cheapest options. So I think a lot of people are, would, would get the Game Pass Ultimate if they have the money. But a lot of people don't have that money, especially right now with the pandemic happening. So this is shitty of Microsoft to do. Like, this is really horrible. Because, <laughs> like, imagine... This actually happened because it's not happening. You know, they, they Microsoft apologized. So what if this still happened? And there's families that have their credit cards on renewing Xbox Live every year. What if, you know, the, the new price point came up in their credit card bill? And, you know, the, the parents are probably going to assume, what the fuck is my is my kid spending this much on Fortnite? Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. I'm going to beat him. That's what's probably going to happen. They're probably going to think... My kid is spending $120 on some bullshit on a game, so uh, I have I have no I have no other way. I have to, I have to beat him. He has to understand. <laughs> like when that day comes, when it's already been a year of Xbox Live and it auto renews, and when your parents see the new price point of Live a year in their credit card, oh my god, cries all over the fucking world, and you could probably hear the metallic tings in the buckle of the parents' belt as they beat their kids. <laughs> so yeah, it's not actually happening, so, um, yeah, Microsoft, they reverse this decision and apologize by allowing people to play free-to-play games without live, so at least you guys got that. So yeah, again, I have no clue what Microsoft was thinking to raise the price for Xbox Live no clue so <laughs> so yeah let's move on all right so let's move on to uh child abuse um so a twitch streamer i don't know his name I, I don't care you know i think a lot of people know who this guy is and also it seems like it's irrelevant because he's already been banned by twitch so he has no platform to check him out so anyway twitch streamer canceled himself so a guy was streaming with his baby uh he got mad he was playing madden and then through his controller and, you know, loud noise, it made the baby cry. He put the baby in the chair and told the baby to shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, what, what do you think was going to happen? Like, you think the baby was actually going to stop? Like, it understood what you were saying? But anyway, so he got banned, all right? So um, before he got banned, um, the clip that was released, um, he titled it, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, he already knew that it was done. Like, he, he knew that was it. I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. That's it. Now, from what I've heard, the mother kicked him out of the house. So, uh, that's a good decision. Um, hopefully, the baby doesn't remember this moment because it could have affected him. You know, maybe, maybe he could end up being fucked up. Hopefully not. Hopefully, he forgot 
you know, that this happened. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the father, what are they called? Uh, an epic gaming moment. So, um, all right. So, I've been hearing, I've been watching a lot of videos talking about this situation. And people are talking about, oh, you really got mad out of a game. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's natural. Everybody gets mad, you know. Like, I would do the same, but that's very rarely. I, I don't really get mad and start yelling. Like, the, I don't really do that. But... You know, I would get why someone would do that. But the thing that I don't agree is someone yelling at somebody or screaming at somebody because they lost. Like, I, I wouldn't put out my frustrations to somebody because I sucked at a game. Like, I lost the game. Oh, looks like I have to yell at my dog. <laughs> it's like, no. And why did the father bring the baby to the live stream? Like, if I know I get that mad when I lose at a game... I wouldn't want anybody in the same room as me because I don't want anybody <laughs> looking at me like I'm a fucking loser. It's like, really? He gets this mad when he loses a match and plans for zombies? <laughs> so, yeah, and, and especially I don't want my son to see that because, you know, he, that's going to be in his brain forever. He's going to remember this moment when his dad lost and cries and whines like a baby and blames the baby for him losing. <laughs> All right, so next news. Uh, Resident Evil 8. So there was a live stream revealing uh, some stuffs about it. And I was kind of slightly disappointing. You know, like, there was a live stream that was counting down the minutes and the hours. It was like, oh, man, they're going to they're gonna show something. And, you know, it was like, eh, just some gameplay and, and a, tra a trailer. Oh, yeah, they also showed off this mobile-looking game, like... What the fuck is this? <laughs> this looks like a ripoff from some Chinese developer that saw a Resident Evil 2 remake. It was like, yeah, let's just steal all the assets and put it in our game. But it's actually not a ripoff. It's made by the official Capcom developer. So it's like, what? what is this? <laughs> this... This actually looks like a mobile game. Like, the graphics just look awful. So, yeah, overall, I thought how they revealed it was a little bit disappointing. I thought I was going to see more, but... Well, what they showed off, it, it looked pretty good. But what I'm really loving about this game is the setting, you know, the visuals. Uh, it's giving me Bloodborne vibes, and I, I love the setting in Bloodborne. And, you know, this one captures it really good. Um, what really reminded me of Bloodborne was, you know, the part... It was that, that one part where it looked like you were fighting against, like, giants. Where it was like a giant with a fucking hammer. It's like, yeah, that looks like an enemy from Bloodborne. <laughs> Now, low-key, I would actually like them to go back to third person. I like, eh, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of me after playing Resident Evil 2 Remake. Eh, maybe they should go back. But, you know, I think the first person is way more scarier, and that's what they were aiming for. You know, they're trying to make the game more scarier. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, sorry I haven't been uploading as much. You know, I've been busy, you know, work and all that shit. Uh, hopefully the video I was working on will eventually come out you know like doing videos like these the news shit yeah i could do it just in a day so this is probably coming out on sunday so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe follow me twitch twitter see me twitch twitch and twitch twitter hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you later bye